Hi there, it's Linda Marie. I've got a story for you, and it's all the way from South Africa. I think you'll like it. It's not too long. Here we go. One day, Hare and Hyena decided they would go hunting. Hyena took the sack, a big sack, and offered to carry it over his shoulder so that whatever they caught could go into that sack. Now, Hare wondered for a moment, hmm, I wonder if Hyena is really going to share everything that's in that sack. But he was small and didn't feel in a position to speak up. So what he did was just follow along and they caught things and the day went on and on. And at the very end of the day, the hare all by himself with his swiftness caught a fine young bush buck. That's a very small deer. And as it neared to be the close of the day, Hare decided he would take a shortcut. He had a plan. So what he did was he scooted around very, very quickly because he was light and fast footed and wound up alongside the path, but much further along than the hyena was. And he got an idea. He reached down onto the ground where there was some red ochre, that's sort of a dust. And he said, I'll put that all over me. So he covered himself with this red dust. And then he saw some white sand. Ah, and he got some of the white sand and made circles all over his face. And he looked actually quite fearsome. And he saw an ant heap and he said, ah, I'll just go sit on top of that ant heap and I will wait. I will wait until Hyena comes along. So by and by, Hyena came along. And at one point he stopped and said, oh, uh, oh, oh, something on the hill. Uh, will you let me pass? I, I will give you some meat from my sack. Oh, something on the hill. That really, really scared Hyena. So he said, I'll, I'll, I'll give you more. I'll give you something more. I'll give you everything that's in my sack. And he spread all the meat out. Huh. The problem was, it wasn't quite everything. And hair in disguise knew it. He just continued to stare and stare and stare at Hyena. Hyena became even more scared and said, all right, all right, all right. Hare stared down at him, continuing to stare. And at last, Hyena dragged out the fine young bushbuck, a young deer that had been caught by Hare himself. Will you please let me pass? Please, would you let me pass now? Pass! Pass! Said the hare in disguise. And as fast as you can imagine, oh, Hyena headed for town, just terrified that he would be not let by. That, in fact, the thing on the mountain might change its mind. As fast as he could go, he went. <laughs> down from the ant heap, jumped hair in disguise, took a look at everything down below, <laughs> and realized not only did he have his own catch, the fine young bushbuck, but he also had all the rest of the meat from the catch of the day. He continued to smile thinking, not only do I have it all, but it was delivered <laughs> right to my door. And that is the end of Hare and Hyena Go Hunting. I hope you liked it. Bye.